If your HVAC system is not running, this video should show you several steps you can use to better understand what might be happening and whether or not you need to call your heating and cooling contractor for assistance. If you need help finding a qualified heating and cooling contractor, Residio can help you there too. All you have to do is visit this URL, add your zip code, pick a distance, what you need help with, and click. If your system is not running, one of the first things you can check is the display. If it is blank, that means your Honeywell thermostat has no power. Some thermostats are powered by batteries, and some by your heating and cooling system. To determine which yours is, you will need to remove the thermostat from the wall. When you first check the batteries, look for any corrosion on the batteries or battery holder terminals. If there is, it might be possible the corrosion has gotten into the thermostat. Try a new set of batteries. We recommend using alkaline, non-rechargeable batteries. Make sure they are installed correctly. If the new batteries do not work, the corrosion may have damaged the thermostat and it will need to be replaced. If there is no corrosion and the new batteries still do not work, it is likely the microprocessor has been damaged and the thermostat will need to be replaced. The following troubleshooting would apply if your thermostat has no batteries and is powered by your HVAC system or if your thermostat is battery powered. If your HVAC system is not running and your thermostat is powered by your HVAC system but the display is blank, it can mean the power from your system has either dropped out completely or dropped below the minimum thermostat needs. Because of that, the thermostat will not be able to call for your system to run. This can be the same for a thermostat that is battery powered where the display remains powered up. The difference is that because the thermostat is battery powered, it will still call for your system to run even if the power coming from the system has dropped out or dropped below the minimum required. In situations like this, there are three simple steps you can check. One of the first places you can check to make sure your system is powered is the circuit breaker box. Make sure the circuit breaker for your system is in the on position. If it is off, the system powered thermostat will be blank and the battery powered thermostat will not know that power is missing. To make sure they are in the proper position, you may even want to turn the breakers off, then back on. A second place to check and make sure power is coming from your system to the thermostat is a switch on the outside of the furnace. On the outside of most systems, there is what looks like a light switch. It controls power to your system as well. Many times, it can accidentally get in the off position. When this happens, power to your system will be interrupted, preventing your system from running. Toggle this switch on and off a couple times, making sure you leave it in the on position. A third place to check and see if power is getting to your system is the access panel. To allow for the interior of your system to be easily serviced, there is an access panel. Service can include simply replacing the filter or more complex work your dealer might perform. When this panel is removed, there is what's called a safety interlock switch that opens and cuts power to the system. If the safety interlock switch is not properly depressed when the access panel is reinstalled, your system will remain off. This will happen even if your battery powered thermostat is calling for your system to run. Also, if you have a thermostat powered by the system, the thermostat display will be blank because it has no power. There's one more simple troubleshooting step we can walk you through that will help you better understand whether there is an issue with your HVAC system or not. If your thermostat is battery powered and calling for heat, but the heat is not running, it's only natural to try turning the thermostat off or turn the set point below room temperature and then back on. Sometimes when you do that, the heating system will start up when the thermostat calls for heat again. When or if that occurs, it's pretty easy to think it might be something with the thermostat that causes the furnace to not come on. That may or may not be the case. Modern heating systems use what is called an ignition module or furnace control. Occasionally, those devices will lock out electronically. To reset them, you simply turn off the power or end the call for heat. Many times when the power is restored or another call for heat is made, that allows the ignition module or furnace control to reset and bring the heat on. If you are experiencing this situation, one suggestion is this. 
Rather than turn the thermostat off or the temperature down and then restoring either, go to your system, turn off the power, wait 30 seconds, and turn it back on. If your system restarts, it's very possible that the control for it had been locked out like we mentioned a bit earlier. If this happens on a regular basis, we'd recommend calling your local HVAC contractor and have them find out why the control or ignition keeps locking out. If after these simple troubleshooting steps, your heating and cooling is not running, you may want to consider contacting your local heating and cooling contractor for further assistance or troubleshooting. When you do, having this information should be very helpful to them and should allow them to more quickly find out what is occurring with your system. If you need help finding a qualified heating and cooling contractor, Residio can help you there too. All you have to do is visit this URL, add your zip code, pick a distance, what you need help with, and click. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. For more support and documentation, please visit HoneywellHome.com.